Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Andrea J, and today's video is a review. It's a testing out review of the new Day Day Signature Apple collection. So we've got a lot to talk about. Um, I've shown you guys a few items from Day Day Signature already on my channel. We've reviewed the um, Kiwi palette, the orange palette, and their lip glosses. So now we've got their latest addition to the collection, which is the Apple collection. So um, if you're interested in knowing more about this black owned indie brand and this amazing collection that they've just recently come out with or are coming out with, depending on when this video goes up, as I always say, videos <laughs> then definitely keep on watching right so let's just get elephant out of the room so I swap my room around and this is actually the first time I'm recording with my new layout and it's gonna take some getting used to you know so um, yeah let me know what you guys think in terms of the lighting I also changed up my lights let me know what you think about the lighting let me know what you think about everything okay I think I can see myself clearer but I don't know let me know what you guys think when you obviously watch this video leave a comment that kind of thing right so before we start the review please go ahead and give this video a thumbs up like just like it because it is on YouTube and I'm a black content creator and you like my content hopefully just give this video a thumbs up it does help my YouTube videos rank a lot better and subscribe to my channel if you haven't clearly you're watching this video so clearly you're interested so clearly you should be subscribed okay now let's start Right, so I am on the PR list for Day Day Signature, so they sent me this gorgeous PR box full of goodies, and this is the Apple Collection. You've got a little Apple um, sticker on there. I did do uh, a quick 30 second unboxing, which I'll insert in here, but this is the packaging, this is the box, and when you open it up you've got all the gorgeousness that is the apple collection in there and i'm going to go through everything that is in the box and then yeah. i'm going to use and review the palette and the lip products that come in the collection so let's start um it's got a nice little thank you card i always appreciate it when brands say thank you for the support so this is a nice little card to use also does remind me about the discount code that I do have which is Medea J and that will give you 10% off Day Day Signature products on their website and also on their UK Stockist website which is House of Clarivon both of which I will link in the description box below so yeah you can get it if you're based in the UK and I'll leave the palette to last because that's like the most <gasps> amazing first item in there is a pair of lashes and the whole theme of the collection is apple, wine, you know, strawberry, like luxury, sexy, kind of really fall wine orientated. So I really, really love the whole theme. It all comes together quite beautifully. So the first item is a pair of lashes. And this is Fine as Wine Mink Lashes. And then you've got the Day Day Signature social media handles. I'll just show you guys how cute is this bottle it's plastic and you've got the lashes inside which is so cute so when so cute I open it up you've got the lashes Oop. got the lashes inside and there they are such a beauty really love the style of the lashes and this is what it looks like just right. a note to say that I'm recording this video um, in advance of the launch so it hasn't officially launched on the website it is going to go lo um, live on the 5th of November so it depends on when I get this video out but I will leave the prices when I do update uh, my description box I will leave the prices in the description box below just in case if you're really interested in the price points and obviously you want to know how much you're gonna spend and that kind of thing so I will leave it in the description box below and also my code for you to get 10% off it is an affiliate code which means I will make a little bit of money but it's no extra cost or inconvenience to you it will save you 10% okay and the next product comes in this gorgeous little bag 
secret i love using these bags to wash my brushes sometimes when i'm uber uber lazy i pop them in here and i throw them in the washing machine i know i really shouldn't but sometimes the brushes are a lot <laughs> so it comes in this plastic and it's a nice big fluffy brush oh so pretty and it's got like a little wine so it's like a little wine glass of brush the bristles are so soft and you can actually stand this brush and it's got daily signature on the side this is what it looks like close up obviously you can't get to that liquid uh, which is good it's not for drinking it's just for decoration but look at how soft the brush head is is so so soft this will make a really really good face brush so I appreciate a good a unique brush I don't have anything like this in my collection so it is super nice to have this next we've got lipsticks now there are eight bullet lipsticks that come in this collection I'm going to show you all the different colors but I absolutely love how it's packed in the box so obviously I've got all eight shades I'm just going to show you guys the colors for now so this is the unicorn uh, it says daily signature on it and you've got ingredients at the back and you've got colors of each shade on the box it's a nice beautiful peachy um, type of box nice ombre mix and this is what the bullet looks like so this is the packaging it's like a uh i want to say velvet but it isn't velvet it's like a smooth plastic feel absolutely love the color love the shape it isn't actually square the sides are rounded nice beautiful um bullet and when you take it off that is the shade and so this so this one is called Champagne. It's such a beautiful color. Absolutely stunning. This one is called Sparkling Wine. This one is called Moscato. I love the color. Do you guys see the design on it? It's just beautiful. The pattern is so, so pretty on the bullet. This one's called Bailey's. Can you guys see how gorgeous this color is? This one's called Alcohol Free and woof, beautiful, beautiful. I have a feeling I might be using this one. Maybe I'm speaking too soon because there's some other shades, but this is beautiful. This one's called White Wine. Yeah, this one's called White Wine. Very beautiful caramel type of shade, honey. This one is called Sweet Wine. such a beauty last one is called Stella Rosa which is absolutely stunning so those are all the lipsticks they're amazing beautiful lipsticks last but definitely not the least is the apple palette yay I absolutely love the packaging nice keep it clean apple with wine is the whole apple wine collection i get it i see it day day signature and you can see all the ingredients clearly written at the back which i fully appreciate and this palette will last 12 months it's made in china it's cruelty free and it's recyclable so love okay and at the back it says you get 14 delicious apple varieties to get featured tag apple palettes love that so 14 um delicious apple varieties means that there are 14 shades in this palette and this is the palette now tell me this doesn't look like a real apple like the rendering the color um they did signature is a little bit embossed so it, it does feel you can feel it to the touch love the apple logo and this is a gorgeous looking palette at the back you get exactly the same um, information as on the unicorn the ingredients recyclable daily signature 14 apple varieties and it's just like the orange palette slide it off and you've got the palette it also comes with a good mirror which I appreciate 
and these are the colors like I've seen this on Instagram so I know what I'm expecting so I'm very very excited for this but how gorgeous is the color story and each color is named after a type of apple which I think is ingenious it's just absolutely stunning I dim my lights all the way down for you guys to see the true color do you guys see the heart of the palette like that red shade called red delicious so freaking pretty it's a good balance of matte shimmer shades you do have pressed glitter in there so, so far I'm really loving the detail I'm even loving the detail of the core of the apple right in the middle of the palette which is stunning I know there are a lot of people that don't really appreciate uh, pressed glitters in palettes but just know that there is only one pressed glitter in a palette and I know that there are some people that equally love it in palettes so at least it's hitting the mark for the two different types of people. I'm indifferent. I think they're gorgeous. They add a little bit of extra oomph to look so I don't mind having it in a palette. You do have one, two, three, four five six seven eight matte shades one um pressed glitter making nine which means that you've got five shimmer shades so one two three four five shimmer shades which is amazing so yeah so those are the colors that you've got in the palette i am going to insert a picture because i know daily signature already uploaded swatches on her instagram so i'll insert that in the um video as well but let's just jump into actually using the palette, trying the formulation, coming up with a look and then sharing my final thoughts with you guys at the end of the video. So as always in true Media J fashion, okay, I never know what it is that I want to do. So I'm going to do one eye off camera and be right back to do the second eye with you guys on camera. I did forget to mention that the mirror that comes with the palette is a very very clear very crisp mirror and again I'm just blown away by the construction of the palette and the look and feel it looks like a real apple so yeah let me just go ahead do one eye off camera and I'll be right back okay so this is what I came up with and I don't particularly like it but I'm pushed for time <laughs> so yeah we're gonna recreate it I don't know I just don't I don't know just isn't doing it for me normally I would redo it but I think because I used virtually all the formula on my eye so the matte shimmer and the glitter I think I'm just gonna recreate it and if you guys like it then you like it but um, I'll definitely be using this palette more probably on Instagram or something so definitely follow me on Instagram if you're not but let's just jump right into the look and I'll tell you guys why I'm a little bit iffy with this look so I'm gonna start off with a base so the base I chose today is the Gerard Cosmetics Clean Canvas Base in White. I do have a discount code with Gerard Cosmetics, which will give you 30% off if you use the code Medea J. I'm going to apply this all over the lid as my base today. Now I'm going into the Apple palette and I'm going to use this shade called Envy, which is this very dark plum kind of color. I'm going to start applying that into my crease and build quite a bit of depth in the crease with it. And I'm using that, I'm using the M506 brush from Morphe. It's a small blending brush which allows me to get right into my crease quite nicely. And I'm also just shaping the crease the cut crease that I want to do, I'm shaping it now while I'm building the intensity. Next I'm going to go into Gala. Gala is like a wine type of shade and I'm going to use it to blend out the edge of Envy. I'm not taking it too high. I'm first of all working my way making sure that the edge of Envy is not harsh at all and I'm taking tiny products 
at a time I'm not packing on a lot of product see how it's gently blending the edge of that without overpowering it those two colors together blend like a dream now I'm going back into the palette and this time I'm going to use red delicious and I'm using an even smaller brush and this is the M562 brush it's a beautiful detailed blending brush and I'm going to use that to blend the edge of Gala and I'm just going gently now the red is very 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 pigmented so you do want to work with a tiny bit of product at a time honestly like look at that yeah I'm literally just tapping my brush in the palette I'm not even swirling my brush I'm just tapping it because it is very pigmented. Next I'm going to cut my crease and I didn't go all the way down when I was cutting my crease so that's probably my fault. I should have cut my crease a little higher because I do feel like the crease isn't cut too well and look I blame my my folding lids because really I'm already cutting way above my normal crease line like this is my crease line and that's where I cut so I, I should have cut a little higher so I blame myself for that I am however going to correct it on this one I'm going to cut slightly higher so I'm going to go ahead and use a clean canvas base to cut my crease and I'm sorry I'm going to have to do this one off camera because it took me a hot minute to cut that crease and we'll be here forever if I uh, leave the camera rolling <laughs> So the crease is cut slightly lower and higher in the middle and now I'm going to apply Red Delicious all over my lid and I mean all over the cut. Now one thing I do want to say is Red Delicious does have fallout. It does have fallout so um, I would suggest if you are going to use it as a, a hero shade or all over lid shade like I'm doing today definitely do your base after you've done your eyes so so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to clean my under eye and just clean that so it's a lot sharper and looks like a wing right so for this eye I actually applied sugar beet pressed glitter into my crease um, unfortunately my pressed glitter isn't moving as well as it should so what I'm going to do to be able to pick it up on my brush and apply it to my crease is I'm going to use a transparent glue and I'm going to mix that in on my hand on the back of my hand in order to allow a bit more movement with the glitter so yeah and I'm just going to speed through this because I just want to create like a nice little line in my crease. And that's how it's looking so far. Not too bad. So now I'm going to apply my wing liner. Nice dramatic wing to match the drama on the lid. Right. Do you know what? Doing wing liner on camera, it might look easy, but trust me guys, it's so tricky, but I will try. Once so I've got that, I like to drag my line back in. And I'm not making it as dramatic as I did this eye, but I am winging it quite beautifully. So I'm adding a base to my lower lash line, and guys, that red, look at how it's affecting my base. Like, that red is so pigmented. The tiniest bit, and it just changes my base look looks like a red base. So I'm going to go back into the palette, and I'm going to use Granny Smith which is this gorgeous green shade you know I can't help myself if there's a green shade in the palette 
best believe I'm going to use it I'm just going to pack it on to that base There's no fallout in the green, literally no fallout. It's a beautiful green shade. Now this eye, I'm in love with. Okay, I love the shape. I love the way it came out. I love how vivid that red is. This one was sloppy. Maybe because I wasn't used to the color or the pigment. I don't know. It was just sloppy on the side. But this side, yeah. So we're going to be taking our pictures like this. <laughs> because this side is cute. But this side, no. <laughs> so I'm just going to go off camera. Complete the rest of my face. And I'll come back. We'll apply the lashes and lipstick. So be right back. I know I look cute as a button. Well, we're not done with the look. So I'm going to go back into the palette to apply an inner corner shade because I really want that inner corner right, right there. Right there. Right. To glow. And I want to use the shimmer shade. So on the other eye, I attempted using Fuji, but let's not talk about that eye. On this eye, however, I want to use Golden Delicious. It's this beautiful green shade right here. Right here. So I really want to use it. It's got like a gold undertone to it. I'm actually going to use the mirror to apply it. And I'm just going to just place it. <gasps> it is so pretty. Look at that. Instant glow. I'm going to get a smaller detail brush for this. So I can get right in there. I'm just dragging a little bit in the inner corner. Just a little. Like that. That is so pretty. I love a beautiful inner corner moment any day. And now just to um, soften the edge of my inner corner, I'm going to go back into jo Jonah Gold. It's this beautiful orange shade. I'm using a blending brush. And I'm just going to blend the edge just so that it's not harsh and it kind of blends into my base quite nicely. Like that. Give it like a soft finish. Like that. So, so pretty. So my face is virtually done. Uh, I just need to apply my lipstick. I am wearing the lashes that comes with the collection. For my base, I use the Beauty Bakery Insta, Insta Bake Foundation. And this one is in shade 317W. It is slightly light for me, so I applied some custom pigment drops um, just to darken it a little bit. And then for my highlighter today, I'm using the Uoma Beauty Notting Hill highlighter and then for my blush this blush is so pretty i'm using the color drain x um the power you know power tv series so color drain did a collaboration with them and this one's called prove my loyalty and it's this berry very beautiful berry shade i applied that on my cheeks and also on my button little nose and now i'm just going to um apply my lipstick and I don't know what color I want to use I know I want to use like a berry tone dark berry tone color so I'm gonna go through all the lipsticks and find the right shade be right back so I think I'm gonna go with sweet wine sweet wine is such a beautiful dark shade and I'm not really sure what the formula of this lipstick is and if I need a lip pencil but we're gonna find out mm. Mm, that's like a brown. I don't know if it goes with this look though. Mm. Mm. I'm just going to go ahead and use this one.
right so this is the finished look guys let's quickly run through the products that we tested out today so i'm starting off with the eyeshadow palette first of all massive a plus 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 for creativity day day signature always kills it with these fruit palettes i absolutely love the creative genius behind the brand she knows what she's doing and this apple palette looks so realistic i literally could eat it like the graphics on it alone are amazing love how big the ingredients are at the back it helps for people like us that can't barely see shit but i really love that and i love the detail of the um core of the apple i just think it's so true to form really love the detail really love the names love that there are 14 different um apple varieties and they're named beautifully and the names actually match the color of the shade and you just know what you're getting when you when you mention it like red delicious you know it's a beautiful red uh, shade um granny smith you know granny smith apple so the colors are just amazing very very beautiful i love the balance of matte to shimmer colors and i love the fact that there's only one press glitter the shimmer shades are absolutely gorgeous like that shade called golden delicious is beautiful fuji as well is beautiful i mixed it in with red delicious on the other eye to give it a beautiful color these colors blended like a dream you guys can see the cut absolutely pigmented very very beautiful red delicious is a very 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 pigmented red shade and now i understand why a lot of eyeshadow palettes don't really have reds because it's so difficult to get that pigmentation right and also very very difficult to get it to blend i think day day signature really hit the mark on this red shade not only is it um very pigmented but it blends like a dream like butter Obviously, again, I wanted to push the limit of the shadow, so I used it as an all over lid shade. 9 out of 10 times, you probably wouldn't use this kind of matte shade as an all over lid shade, unless if, you're, if you really like dramatic looks like I do, but it is a beautiful shade. The only thing is that it does have fallout, but for something that packs such a massive punch and pigment, I don't expect it not to have fallout. So, so yeah, they hit the mark with this red shade. Like any company, any makeup brand that can formulate a red shade that look, just, I'm not even gonna, I'm just gonna do that and look at my finger like madness. Any, any brand that can formulate such a powerful red shade like that definitely deserve your coins so definitely red delicious is gorgeous i do love um granny smith as well love gala i love the um the color called envy it blended beautifully into the crease i love the color story of this palette like if you're anything like me i like to look at um different makeup looks that i can do with an eyeshadow palette the minute i look at the color story and if i split the palette into two i've got like a red color story going on very very sexy and if i cover the top you've got like your greens your autumnal you know orange and yellow shades and obviously if you cover half of it you can mix and match the shades so yeah pretty much in terms of color story they hit the mark i absolutely love it and i love the balance of matte to shimmer shades now for the eyelashes i'm wearing them they're very very beautiful lashes i think this would work really well with anyone who doesn't like the fly away really you know full lashes that i love i really love the dramatic lashes i think these are beautiful wearable lashes and they are pretty dramatic as well depending on what look that you're doing and they fit really nicely i didn't have to trim them they fit nicely on my eye they're a beautiful lash love the packaging very very unique um i love the idea behind it i just don't know how i'm gonna store it like this but i really really love the idea and it will look really really cute on my vanity for sure absolutely love that and then in terms of the lipsticks obviously i, I only use one shade in this entire video which is called sweet wine and it is a very very beautiful true to color shade and i love the um consistency of it i think the formulation is more like a it's like a really really soft satin finish so you don't need to apply any 
any pressure at all it just glides on really really quickly really smoothly so I would recommend that you use a lip pencil if you aren't very conversant with wearing lipsticks and you know use a lip pencil to kind of outline your lips so that you can just fill it in with the lipstick so but I do love the packaging I love the formulation I love the colors I think she did an amazing job with eight shades and the colors are very very beautiful and they flow together with the collection and obviously the last item is the brush for the life of me I don't know why I didn't use this in the video but the brush is gorgeous I think the brush is such a beautiful novel item you can use it as a brush uh, to apply your powder it is very very soft it does feel like synthetic fibers very very soft love the packaging love how unique it is I haven't seen anyone create wine glass brushes so yeah this is definitely a first so I absolutely love this so in terms of the entire collection I think it's absolutely amazing I think that they hit the mark I think this is another beautiful fruit collection I absolutely think the color story is bang on season and I could actually use that eyeshadow palette all year round it is just that beautiful so yeah let me know what you guys think in the comment box below what do you guys think about the color story what do you think about the pigmentation I will be doing more looks but probably on Instagram I might use it here or there on in on YouTube but I do have a lot of products to review so definitely follow me on Instagram if you're not and if you are interested in the collection definitely use my code Medea J will give you 10% off both on Day Day Signatures and also on House of Clarivon who is their UK stockist but yeah I hope you guys enjoyed the video please don't forget to give it a thumbs up remember God doesn't like ugly be nice to someone today black lives matter and I'll catch you guys in a future one. Bye.